Nepal is a country with unusual combination of flora and fauna, wildlife and cycle of life. It is a country of geographical extremes with low-lying plains in the southern Thurai and the world's highest peak Everest in the north, all in the distance of 200 nautical miles. Nepal is extremely rich in terms of biodiversity. 118 plant ecosystems are found here. Almost 10% of total existing birds are found in this country that occupies just 1% of the total landmass of the earth. Nepal is also rich in butterflies, fish, mammals and medicinal herbs. Yakuri Bhanjang, a small beautiful village located at northeast of Kathmandu at an altitude of 1800 meters, share moderate climate providing suitable mushroom production atmosphere both in summer and winter. Thus, to know current condition and potentials of mushroom production, we reached Lakuri Bhanjang, accompanied by one of the mushroom farmers. Hari Prasad Chaulagai, one of those farmers pursuing this farming, started after seeing his friends earning decent profit from mushroom farming. Now he owns one. It's been eight years of involvement in mushroom farming that he started after watching other farmers with no formal training. Still to pay to this, he has his share of problems including different diseases in mushroom. He has no choice but to be a bystander because of lack of knowledge and information. <laughs> Hari Prasad owns one farm at Chapagao, also works at Lyakuri Bhanjang. He walks up and down of the hill for two hours every day because of poor transportation facility. His daily activity schedule starts with picking mushroom and transporting it to the market. However, these hard-working farmers have to face problems of low productivity, less market price and thus fear of further investment is common due to unavailability of adequate technical knowledge. This village falls in hill slope, thus the topography does not favor for paddy production which has compelled them to buy paddy straw at high price. <laughs> साने गांव बंसो लुमुसाइट बड़े लोग तब उनको ये एक किलो पूरी पूर्व देना तो सात छह रुपये सात रुपये पर They have limited access to resources and information along with illiteracy resulting upheavals in mushroom production. They assure themselves calling it as a fate. जुआ खेला है जुआ खेला है जुआ खेला है यो यो खेती बिगड़ी पची बिगड़ी in addition to farmers are facing problems, once mushroom was blamed for the spread of diseases in other crops which displaced mushroom farmers and it still can be seen. मुख्य बिगड़े रहा अंजार यो चावली कर रहे बिगड़े बने रहा खेती आलने नो दे रहा अंजार त्याता छोड़े आओ नहीं अब यो वही रोग आय आगो भारा जी चावली कर रहा बने दोषी बो तोर खास चीं चावली जी हुई मस्त विलेजर्स लविंगली कॉल जेठा लामा एस जेठा दाई ही हैज लीज्ड हिज लैंड टू अदर फार्मर्स फॉर मशरूम Seeing mushroom farming as a lucrative, he even wished to have one farm. However, he has his own problems. He often confuses with amount of cost and the benefits he will be getting from it. Farmers at Lyakuri Bhanjang are aware of its decent profit which can be reaped in short time with low investment. On the other hand, lack of training, inadequate technical knowledge and low information has compelled them to keep mum. Some farmers are compelled to work in others' farm even though they have their own land. 
One of them is the Bahadur Buratoki. Dr. Kesari Ratna Manander, a researcher who has been conducting plenty of researches and study on mushroom cultivation and market management of mushroom says, Nepal is the best country in the world for mushroom cultivation. <laughs> Nepal is the, uh, the best place for mushroom cultivation in the world. Although in international market, mushroom has high price still due to lack of sufficient training programs and technical assistance, farmers are having difficulties for mass production. Commercially, only two kinds of mushrooms are cultivated in Nepal, white button mushroom and oyster mushroom. In international market, there is high demand for sitake mushroom. But farmers are not yet able to produce this mushroom because of lack of adequate knowledge. Moreover, the thriving community forestry offers a good chance for production of sitake mushroom. The researchers have seen good prospect of commercial production of sitake with the help of community forest user groups. But due to lack of appropriate government policies, such collaboration between the community forest and mushroom farming, which can be a good source of income, is yet to come into practice. For the technical study and research regarding mushroom farming, only a small unit under Nepal Agriculture and Research Council has been formed by the government of Nepal. Even this unit lacks adequate policies, budget and experts due to which less research has been conducted so far. In Nepal, of small scale investment, less manpower and technical knowledge, farmers are found to be eager to set up mushroom farming. Accordingly, farmers are all set to farm mushroom. Insufficient knowledge on international market, quality maintenance, and alternative mushroom species production. These factors have overshadowed the possibilities that can be created by these diligent farmers.